The Madison County Council voted last night to cut off county funding for the that county's needle exchange program. The program started in August 2015 with the goal of slowing the spread of HIV and hepatitis C from drug users sharing needles. 24 Hour News 8's Tim McNicholas is back from Madison County now. And Tim, what does this mean for the future of the needle exchange? Well, county health workers say, at least for now, it ends the needle exchange. This ordinance cuts off needle exchange funding, including through donations to the county. But the program's organizers say it's not over yet. These are all dirty needles. You're looking at three boxes full of used syringes sitting in the Madison County Health Department headquarters. So what are you going to do with those now? I don't know. I don't know. Stephanie Grimes oversees the needle exchange as the county's public health coordinator. She says she'd usually use needle exchange funds to pay a company to safely incinerate these needles. I'm emotional. I'm, I'm sad and then I'm angry and then I'm sad for our participants. Grimes will keep her job, but she says after Tuesday's 5-2 to two vote, that job can no longer include needle exchange work. This was a very difficult decision. Councilman Fred Reese says he voted to cut the funds after talking to dozens of locals who oppose the program. He says one reason council members are concerned is because stats show needle exchange users aren't returning all of the needles. Reese says he's never spotted needles on the ground, but some of his constituents have. I had a lady, a young lady who was a grandmother who contacted me. Uh, she found a needle in her yard. Then probably about a couple weeks later, her neighbor found a needle in her yard. Health workers say they offer treatment and health care to needle exchange users, and some participants accept the offer. Those people um, who are often seen or have been referred to as irresponsible, they're not. Not all of them are. Grimes says she tried to compromise in recent weeks by removing tourniquets from the exchange kits and making several other changes to the program. She says the county distributed about 229,000 needles from 2015 to 2017, and 53% were returned. Grimes says the county has not recorded any new HIV cases in that period. She says hepatitis C cases have increased because of an increase in testing through the program. It might not be tomorrow or next month, but in a year or two, if the program doesn't continue, I hate to think about what it's going to look like. And Grimes says she's hoping a nonprofit can step in and take over the needle exchange. Reese says if that happens, the council would likely want to give a directive to make sure the program is as safe as possible. He says he'd likely support an additional ordinance allowing the county to safely dispose of those leftover used needles he saw. I'm Tim McNicholas, 24 Hour News 8.